And it's Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the new Breitling Avenger models just released. Uh, actually filming this Thursday the 31st. So uh, I will have this ready to go for, uh, for everyone tomorrow at the release. So um, hopefully I have most of the information here for you. I'll go over with you. Um, if anything comes out tomorrow that I did not, I do not cover, I'm not aware of as today of filming this, I'll certainly post that in the comment section. Um, to update this. But what we have here is three new releases for the Avenger family. We have the three-hander here. I have two of them on my left, the green and the blue. You have a chronograph model here in, my, in the middle, and then you have a GMT model. So three new models, um, all of them very, very nicely done. Let's go over the specs first. So the specs on the three-hand model, um, you have the blue, the green, and there is a black. I'm sure the black, I don't have it, is probably going to be the same as this without the GMT. Um, so if you can just take that black and envision that. So you have the three, three hand collection here. Um, I measured these 42 millimeters across. So again, 42 millimeters above that crown protector uh, diagonally across, basically from the two to the eight, or if you're looking at this bezel, the 10 to the 40, even 42 millimeters across the bezel. I measured at 40, uh, what was it? 41.9. So just under 42. So I guess probably just coming off uh, the case here a little bit. Um, and then 31.2 from three to nine across that lovely AR treated sapphire crystal. So 12.2 um, millimeters thick. Uh, happy to report that's what I also had on the GMT. So 12.2, that is some tape on my lug there. I apologize. Promise this watch is not damaged. 12.2 uh, millimeters thick. 51.1 lug tip to lug tip. And then you have a little bit of a male end link there. Just a little bit that pops out to 52 millimeters. Um, 22 millimeter lug width. That tapers down to 18. And then back out to 21 millimeters at this clasp. Very similar clasp to the Super Ocean. On the fly, micro adjustability. So you push this in here and you get a pretty decent amount of of uh, adjustability on that. So no half links on the bracelet, but plenty of adjustability inside the clasp. Links are removable by screws. Solid stainless steel case back here, housing the same B17 movement, uh, accustomed to with the three hand watches here. 38 hours of power reserve. We have a signed Screw down crown, 300 meters of water resistance, and that'll be across all of them. And the weight on the three-hander here, again, on this full solid stainless steel case and bracelet, 183.4 grams. Retail price I have listed here at 48.50. So 48.50 for the three-hander, and we will go up from there. So again, I'll show you both of these if you'd like the green dial. Both of them a matte dial. Get their date windows at three o'clock. I will say the bezel action on these, very similar to the Super Ocean, has a really good feel and sound. Easy to grab if you grab those rider tabs. I do like if you look to, you have a little bit of color. You have the red at your cardinal markers. Uh, if you're 60, 15, uh, 30, and 45 there. Um, your kind of inner chapter ring done in black, which I do like for a little bit of contrast to that blue dial. And you have some really interesting, I'm not even sure what they're gonna to refer to this as, I'm sure I'll get it in their training, but it's almost like it's kind of cut out. So it's a brushed case, but then you have it, it's not, I won't even call it bead blasted, but it's definitely a different um, finishing um, on the outer part here. You can see it actually, it's not even just the way it's polished, it's actually like dug in and cut out here. So. Um, definitely a different look on the case. Hopefully you can see that coming through. Do have all brushed bracelets, which I personally prefer, specifically on the Avenger line. So again, I think nicely done. Next up, uh, we have the GMT. And I only have one of these, but the GMT... Uh, comes in black and blue. So we had black, blue, and green on the three-hander. The GMT is just this black and the blue. So again, probably this model with the GMT. Only two colors on it. Uh, case dimensions on this one. Uh, 44 millimeters above the crown. So again, from uh, roughly the the uh, kind of four to the, or the uh, two to the, the eight here. Uh, 44 millimeters from... 43.9, so again, just slightly smaller coming across the rider tabs there, three to nine. 
and the crystal 32.4 and i will say the crystal measurements are approximate um not really much of a lip there and you do have the uh, the steel insert kind of here so just did my best to, to measure that 32.4 is what i came up with uh 52.7 lug tip to lug tip and with that male end link popping out a little bit at 54 millimeters uh same 22 weight lug width down to 18 out to 21 at the same deployment style clasp again dual push button clasp or release mechanism solid stainless steel case back uh the b32 gmt movement 42 hours of power reserve the same sign the screw down crown 300 meters water resistance slightly heavier 191.5 so 191.5 compared to 183.4 not quite 10 grams difference in weight um, and then you're going up from 4850 on the three-hander to 5500 on the gmt gmt model we do have a bi-directional much quieter kind of frictionless I won't say frictionless there is um it's just doesn't lock in like the 60 minute counter on the on the diver or on the diver on the three-hander excuse me um, and then last but certainly not least we have the uh chrono uh b01 movement this one is coming in black blue i have the blue here green and also it gets a sand color um have only seen images of it but the sand does look interesting and i'm happy to report there are also two night mission models um again 44 millimeters those are done in black ceramic with titanium parts so i haven't seen one of those yet just some uh stock images but i'm sure once we get any of those in i'll review those as well the dimensions on the chrono the same 44 millimeters however i did not try to measure because of the chrono here with the um the uh, crown protector here i went straight across the the rider tabs 44 even across the rider tabs with the lug um or the crown protector not the crown just the crown protector i measured 46.2 the same 32.4 millimeter crystal is in the gmt a little bit thicker 15.2 millimeters you got the chrono movement so it's expected to be a little bit thicker uh 52.7 so the same lug to lug uh as the gmt and then with those male end links the same 54 millimeters same 22 millimeter lug width tapering to 18 at the last link back out to 21 at that same clasp again same micro adjustability on the fly there exhibition case back with the b01 movement 70 hours of power reserve and then again the same 300 meters water resistance signed screw down crown and this guy weighed in at 205.7 grams uh, so certainly a little bit heavier with that chrono movement retail on it 82.50 so um 82.50 coming in on that b01 so other than that i'll throw these all on wrist i've rambled on longer than i want but i've went over quite a few of them here quick again i have a six and three quarter inch wrist Pretty flat. I, I have to admit, I would have liked for my wrist to seem shortly or slightly shorter uh, lug to lug, like the Super Ocean at that 4647. But um, I understand too, the Avenger has kind of historically always had a little bit longer lugs, so I get why they would have kept them. Uh, that is pretty common for this series from Breitling. Again, there's the green. Uh, let's go with the GMT. Sorry, I have the tape coming off here. I'm going to leave that on. <clears throat> and I guess I should. I did not give you bezel action on this chronograph. So while I have it out the same, great action on the three-hander. Probably take a look at the chrono too. Hit the lights, give you a quick loom shot, and we'll wrap this one up.
as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Again, rambled on a little longer than I would have normally liked to, but out of all of these here, I figured I'd do them all in one video. So let's go with uh, the three-handers first. You got the GMT. And certainly a chronograph. So let me know what you think of the new Avenger collection. If there's one you like that uh, I don't have in stock yet to show you, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.